uh, initially I was doing product photography for an online website and I was working on tabletop in a very small confined space and eventually I became interested in experimenting with different objects and materials and playing with shadow and uh, one day I spilled paprika in my studio and I was very interested in the colors and the textures and I thought that it could be used as something other than what it was. And I, I figured I would try to set out to create the surface of Mars in miniature. I use a lot of cotton and cooked sugar. I, I use chocolate for this piece. Um, steel wool, different types of glass, uh, different types of textiles. It varies, it's really endless what I can use. I use a lot of particulates, tile grout spices, cinnamon, paprika, cooked sugars and, and sugar in its normal state, flour, anything. I'll use anything. For Otherworldly, I created a new piece called A New Life, where the main subject was a willow tree made out of ostrich feathers, which were hand dyed and glued to thread, which was hand weaved. It took about three months to create. Um, when I was creating it, I noticed that the tree was very lightweight and blue in the wind, and I figured I would somehow try to incorporate that into the work. So, being so interested in atmosphere, I wanted to create a storm and blow the tree and create this kind of turbulent, tumultuous landscape. And uh, it, I, the mood was dramatically different. And initially, I was much more interested in the storm because I thought it had a little bit more soul, a little bit more character than the sunset. But I think my ideas have changed since, since seeing the two of them. I take thousands of photographs as I move along to check it. I'm, I'm, I'm very specific about how they're lit. It's one of the most important parts. And the, the miniatures are a means to an end for me. I'm only interested really in the photograph. I've never exhibited miniatures before. In fact, they get destroyed quickly after I build them. I'm thinking about scale and I'm looking for new materials. I look for patterns in nature. So for example, a feather grows in much the same way a palm tree does or a fern. Uh, where someone sees tree bark, I can see that in peanut shells on a smaller scale. It's all about trying to fool the eye and also building perspective into the miniature itself.